Alright guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman's Studio. Today we've got Mohammed in the chair. How are you mate? Good, how are you? I'm very well, thanks man, very well. So, what can we do today? Uh, so I'm going to do some sort of, um, like a slick, slick back. Okay, in yeah. A gentleman style. Okay, yeah. My hair's quite coarse and wavy. Yeah, yeah. So I've been trying to so grow it out, but I think it's too much to handle. So when you say you want it like kind of slick back, is it like the whole, you want the whole hair to uh, slick I think back? I've got or? Some, uh, oh yeah, but yeah. yeah. Something like that, but obviously not a zero. Okay. I don't want, I don't want it I'm too unnatural. As in the size that to okay. Do, do you want the sides still cleaned up though? Just yeah, to look yeah, tidy, yeah. 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 Okay, so something like that. Basically. Right. Okay. But obviously not not a zero. Maybe a two or three. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. That's Maybe cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, um, the only thing is though is that your hair texture is very yeah, different. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I did. I, um, I did know that. Yeah. That is the only. That is the only downside. Yeah. So it's very. Hard. I did have a haircut like before. Like oh, okay. That. So I don't, I don't know. If my hair is probably shorter than this right now. Yeah. Don't okay. Know, right. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's more that's more parted than slick back. Though, yeah, isn't it, that yeah, one, yeah. yeah. So parting's a lot easier than slicking back. Reason being, you you having to bring all the hair back on itself. Yeah. Which is again all the thickness. The whole top needs to cover from the front yeah. to the back. So I'll, I'll probably I think it's the parting more. You prefer a, you yeah. prefer a parting. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. No. And do you want it to be quite a hard parting, like a really classic parting? That would you prefer, or do you prefer um, it to be more natural and brush back? More natural, yeah. More natural. Okay, no worries. You want to have something that's that is connected both sides though, because that way it's more natural. If it, if if we were to put a part in, it'd be obviously a lot. You know, you'd have a bit more of a yeah, um, beach, bigger chunk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'd have you'd have obviously this bit of hair having to hang over, really. But yeah. if you want it to be more natural, it'd probably best connecting both sides, leaving the fringe a bit disconnected. All that means is just leaving the fringe a bit a bit more lengthening. That allows yeah. you to kind of slick it back a bit easier. But yeah, I mean, it is is there a reason for it to be so heavily undercut now, or is that just? Uh, I've got one of things to cut my hair. And then okay, all right. And okay, then, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Is do you want when you've been using the clay, the Hans de Fuko one? Is it is it the dry finish that you want? I think mean, yeah, the dry, the like grey, grey. I don't know. The grey one. Grey but is one that the, is that the end result that you want in your hair, or would is, is, do you want it to look natural? Or I want it to look, look natural. Yeah. Because mm, I work okay. in the office, so I don't want anything that's too outstanding. Or it's only too like in your face. That's okay. Afraid. Right. Okay. Product wise, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really suggest the clay at all in your hair. Like it's the one product I'd stay away from, because clay adds thickness, and you've yeah. got too much thickness for what you need. So you're almost kind of doing making it harder for yourself. Really. I think with your color hair though, and the dark, like how dark it is, and you can see your natural shine you've got going on now. Yeah. Pomades and creams actually help soften wave. So. I think you could do with a little bit of shine in your hair. Um, but I think let's cut it first. Yeah, and then, we'll then that, you yeah. can decide what you what you That's like after that. But let's take away the problem areas, okay? Let's take away as much of the corner as we possibly yeah. can. Uh, within, obviously within reason to the head shape as well. Um, do you want to lose much off the top though? Or do you like having a lot of length on the top? Um, I want it enough to at least slick it back or slick this side. Okay, okay. So just enough that you can bring yeah. it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. All right, man. Cool, so three, Two, what would you prefer on the back and sides? How short would you like to go? You don't want to see scalp, do you? you don't want to I don't see want to see scalp, scalp really. Okay. I want to hear as natural, like, do you know when you do like a blowout fade on the back or yeah, you see like that? So, but, okay. Uh, maybe two or three? I'd, yeah, what okay. do you think better? Two I think three? doing it lower down would be better, be more natural yeah. that way. So I think maybe just a bit of freehand clipper work and then yeah. blend it out with a two at the very bottom or maybe That's something like that. That would actually give a bit more of a a seamless finish more than yeah. it being like a guard then a blend into the top I yeah. think it'd be a, I think you'd probably if you're not too sure what you want as long as you don't want scalp I think doing it freehand is much, much better you can yeah. bespoke it a bit more and you can kind of get it around to the length that you want as well yeah. so I think yeah just do that and then put the top into match yeah, yeah? Cool. all right cool man so, well let's give it um, a shampoo and condition mate and then we'll uh, we'll get started all right yeah. right so Mohammed's hair has been shampooed and conditioned I'm going to start off with a horseshoe section so just move around this way for the camera what I want to do is I want to work on the back and sides right so we're thinking about the problem areas right are these bits here that you find are kind of building up too much thickness and whatever else right so we want to work on them okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to work this across into a point at the back. I'm not looking to leave too much length through the crown. I still want to leave the crown in play, but I want to try and remove as much bulk as I possibly can to the areas that you find the problems. I'm just going to clip this up a little bit just because previous cut's gone a bit uh, a bit short through that top bit there, so I'm just going to clip this up like so. Best thing you want to do now is we're not looking for scalp exposure. When you say natural, I, I just what I get from natural is that you don't want it to look like it's been attacked to the clipper. I guess you want it to look a bit more like yeah. you know, 
yeah, I get where you're coming from there. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start with kind of working with the clipper overcomb, a bit like a scissor overcomb, but just creating a bit more of a taper towards the bottom. So Mohammed's at about a two or a three in length he's happy to go down to. So with that in mind, that's six millimeters down the bottom. Let's just try and keep a bit more length towards the top, but still creating a nice shape where it takes away the, the edges here. That's going to be a bit too much of a nightmare for you. We can still connect in the top as well. So I'll have to comb it out from the bottom, like so. Looks like let's check the neckline. It's got a nice neckline. Goes outwards, get a nice taper in there. Again, we can go cut nice and low, so we're not going for something that's too drastic. But I'm gonna pick the length here, so I'm gonna go at least half the length off through the back there. Like so. So we're still keeping length at the crown, but this will allow me to create head shape and also work on taking that corner down a bit as well. And what was it that sort of made you have, like, sort of grow your hair out longer then? I think I used to get it when I was um, the second little. Oh, did you? Yeah, ah, yeah. okay. Things change, it's a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you find it looks more professional having a bit more hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think you mean dive from the right hand side there. There we go. Bear in mind, this comb, if I press it against the head, it goes to a one and a half. Okay, so remember, Mohammed said about a two or a three. So I'm not going to press it down too hard through the back and sides because I still want it to. Not look like they've put a guard on it to blend it out or anything like that. So it still looks nice and short, but it just doesn't look like aggressively cut. Lift it up, there's my guide. Put it across. That elevation just allows it to lie on top of itself. So again, we're getting rid of that problem area for Mohammed, but we're not just creating like what, what basically looks like a, we've put a two or a three in through the sides. And a little bit of freehand over the top. And I think this is a lot more seamless than if I put a number two or a three on and try to blend it out. I find this is a lot, lot more seamless, a lot more of a nicer, softer graduation. So if somebody does say to you, they don't want to look as though they've had like, you know, like an aggressive back and side sort of like clipper, clipper haircut. And doing something like this, clipper over comb, I think is a really nice way of doing it. Going for something that's nice and smart over something that's nice, well, too aggressive, should we say. Now what we'll do, just on the very, very, very bottom, on well, number two, I'll use this as a taper in a little bit more than a actual back and sides. So we'll use that just to Fade down to, like so. Again, a lot softer. It's not we're trying to have to blend the two out that much. We're not going too high with it. Keep it nice and low. I'm using this just as a finishing tool. And then we're gonna keep it nice and low on the taper. So one and a half down the very bottom. Again, try not to show any scalp exposure. Just gonna taper this out nice and tight. So it gives a nice finish. Again, doesn't want it to look too Aggressive for work, it looks a lot more professional like this. I do agree, definitely. The detailing around the, the edges now. So size five matador comb goes down to number two when pressed against the head. So again, we're looking at doing number two on the finish like we've just done on the neck, on the nape. So to make sure it's nice and seamless, just try to detail. So I'm trying to stay away from too much stubble. Nice and natural, just strengthen up the hairline. Nothing too crazy. Get a nice detail.
I'm just finishing off with a little bit of freehand. Guard opens so it's on a 0.5. Just doing that just so it fades out into nothing. Again, not aggressive. Not something that's going to be kind of stand out or anything out from a distance. Not going to look like a fade or anything too aggressive. It just finishes off the neckline nicely. It gives a nice clean finish. Makes it like a gentleman here, got like a sort of gentleman finish. Right now, so before we refine scissor over comb anything on the back and sides, let's connect in the top. So again, we're going for that finish where it's parted over, but I want Mohammed to be able to pick the part. That would be a good idea for him. We still need to leave some length in the front, so it sits over to one side. So, starting from the right hand side, I'm going to work back like so. Again, I'm basically following the same idea we did with our horseshoe a minute ago. And we start connecting through the back. And again, working across. As you can see, we're leaving that fringe out, okay? That Mohammed still can still wear parted if he wants, or loose part, loose parted, so it's not like sort of in a fixed place all the time. So I think it's quite a nice finish, actually. I think, I think it will save, save him a lot of time in the mornings as well when he puts his product in. So if he just wants to part it, and it does fall slightly differently, it doesn't really matter too much. It's all gonna be nice and connected. It's still gonna work. That side's done, as you can see. Cut it right over, leaving the fringe out of the section. Get rid of that problem area, but still keeping the hair sitting back. Now, do it repeat on this side. Same thing again, like so. To keep these bits sitting a bit flatter, and also by connecting both sides again, it just helps Mohammed in the mornings create this hairstyle a lot easier. Bring it all the way down, back into the section. Nice that side as well. So I don't know that bit there. Mm. Which bit did you say was going to stick it or you yeah. had stuck out previous? I think it was the left. Yeah. That side? Okay. Mm. My left three. No left. Yeah. Oh, seems to be okay. I think when you layer the hair on top of each other, it should the weight should hold it down. So I don't think it should be too much of a problem. Again, the compromise just comes down to the styling product really. Um you know, just because obviously the pictures we, we looked at as like inspiration. Or, a, or obviously a different texture, a little bit finer texture than yours. Mm -hmm. So I think obviously by working on a, a slightly heavier product that will really, really help. Um, and nothing's gonna be too in your face neither, you know? I think through the top, we get away with losing a little bit. See the bits that are, so the ends there look as though that's where they've been thinned out. out. Yeah. yeah, you can see the way it just creates that kind of really almost split end finish that we saw yeah. at the start. Can you, can you see that, yeah? Yeah. So I think if we take that off, that'll really help straight away. So we just keep that nice and blunt to that point there where that line of the thinned out hair mm. was. That'll really help as well, okay? Are you happy with that? Yeah. Cool. So it'll still sit back nicely for you. We're just allowing it to Look, look and feel healthier as well. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Pull that back just over the crown. To that dry end off there. It's been thinned out. Just make sure it matches the middle. And just pull out the match. Now, I'm going to use the Texture razor to add the thin now to this. Now this will smooth off the hair and also take a lot of the weight out as well. So 
So finally, we're just going to cut in the fringe as well. So what we'll do, come on forwards like so. You'll see there the fringe is. And just take the very ends off again. When them bits are being thinned out, we'll try and take as much of them off as we possibly can. See them a bit, a little bit frayed at the ends there. Pull that out as well, like so. Bring this in and connect on this angle, like so. So we get that nice graduation, but we're still keeping a lot of the length at the front as well. So as you pull that over, it still sits over nicely, just tucks itself in there. Okay, we're not cutting a fringe in, so we just basically tidying it up. Little dry ends there that have been turned out. Nice straight club cut, make them look nice and healthy again. We'll bring this down on this angle here like that, just to make it a bit more seamless. Right, so the only sacrifice we've got to do is just the clay in the product. So are you happy to go for something that's a little bit more shine just to help you kind of style it a bit easier? Yeah. Would you be happy with that, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Because the best way to do it for your hair is if you use like a cream pomade, is put it in when the hair's damp and that'll just keep it nice and straighter. It'll keep it, the hold will be better as well because it's not a water soluble product. So you'll find it should hold it a little bit easier for you as well. All right. So what I would use is a little bit of the Damon Barber. Okay. Now this, the good thing about this is when you come to wash your hair, just do a dry shampoo. Okay, and it, it washes out a l really easily, which I was surprised about actually for the, for the type of consistency. No, you do, to work it through. So you'll end up with the same kind of finish I've got, where you can still see separation, okay? Because this mine's the pomade as well. And all you do is work it into the hair. It's damp, like so, and it gives the, it a similar effect to what like a paste or a cream would, all right, mm -hmm. when it dries through. But the best way to apply it is to do it when it's damp. If you blow dry it, you're gonna have more thickness to the hair. So it's always best just doing it when it's a bit more damp, okay? Especially for your hair texture. If you had like slightly finer hair, like say the photographs, you could probably blow dry it into shape, but we've created the shape already anyway. Now we do, we just comb it and put that part in. So as you can see, you can part it this way if you want. You can part it that way if you want, which it, yeah. this is the side you like, so we'll put it on this side for you. Not putting that line in, just something that falls over nicely, more natural. And then that way it looks as close to the pictures as you'll get it. Yeah. Like so, with all that problem area gone, so that should grow out nicely for you as well. You've got the nice shape, it all sits back. Again, nothing too kind of like aggressive or anything like that at all, a bit more natural, and just falls in with the natural growth. Yeah. Happy with that, yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah. Great then, mate, thank you, man. Now, you'll be able to see it a bit better with the gown off. So, again, nothing aggressive. It's a very nice natural finish, so a nice taper on the bottom, nothing too crazy. So it sits yeah. nice and tidy. There is the, the kind of natural part that you're asking for, yeah. but it sits in both sides and it connects in. So I guess as close to the pictures as possible without it looking like too aggressive, but yeah. still with that kind of like length at the front, so it still sits back. It should be really easy for you. I don't I don't know where the problem area was. I couldn't really see it as we were cutting it, but maybe we've maybe this type of um, I think cut with, works. I think with more shorter here. Yeah, that's yeah. Narrow. It could be that you know. Yeah, I think I think keeping a bit more length in there works really really well. So how long is the length on the sides? I mean, uh, probably about an inch on the back on the back and sides, I'd say, and then it just then the top is just graduated in. So again, it's probably a couple of inches long, maybe a bit longer than that. Um, but again, yeah, it's probably about an inch on the back and sides. I'd probably say maybe if you're looking like a guard, I'd probably say it was like a five or a six maybe in length, I'd say, something like that. Maybe maybe a bit longer. And then just down to a two. So the freehand on the sides here, I put a two on the bottom to create that kind of taper and then just fade it out into nothing at the bottom so nothing too aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, and then yeah, just finish with a bit of pomade, yeah. And you should find when that dries in, you should get a really nice finish to that as well. So it won't it won't be like completely damp, especially if you run your fingers through it, it'll probably be a bit more like what mine is. So that look nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah happy yeah. Yep. Thanks man. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.